Welcome back, guys. You're here today with Anthony X over in Modesto, California, doing a First Amendment audit at the Modesto Police Department. Make sure to pound that like button. Make sure to follow or subscribe. Make sure to share these videos. And as always, guys, you know the drill. No bootlicking. Let's do this. Wait, you're over there. All right, guys, we finally made it over here in Modesto, California. The car is still on. She did not close her computer screen. All right, so far so good. All right, so this is kind of the back area of the police department. We're gonna go walk around by the parking lot. Lots of police patrolling the area in general, guys. We should get some action. Let's see if they respect my rights, guys. Got some generators going on. It's getting dark, probably getting close to shift change. We should get a lot of vehicles coming in and out. All right, so this is the exit of their parking lot. Police vehicles only, police personnel only. Vehicle 31982, guys. We got a couple of squad cars over here. Let's go check it out. Reserved police vehicles only. Let's go make sure they don't have any contraband in their vehicles. We got vehicle 14S. It's 14S. Vehicle 40. Let's go see if we can check out their uh, laptops. Since they're not closed. That one's turned off. Good. It's their job to protect people's privacy, not mine. Got a cool little map. Police personnel only. This guy's trying to get out, but he's blocked in. Another vehicle there parked right there and blocked him in, it looks like.
got an officer standing over there. Vehicle 27. Vehicle 27. What's up, man? Hello, brother. Hey, can I ask you what you're doing? You can definitely ask. Free country, brother. That's why I said, can I ask? You can definitely okay, ask. So, so what are you doing? I don't answer questions. Okay. You understand why it's a little concerning for us that you come out and you're filming like this in front of the police department? I do not. You don't understand why that's concerning? Nope. In today's day and age, we got to hold accountability. Wouldn't you agree? Right. Wouldn't you rather do that when I'm working instead of standing here talking to you? I don't understand when you're working. Are you working right now? You're, you're in your uniform. I came here to use the bathroom. Well, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. I don't want to. I don't want to impede your restroom use or your break. Or <laughs> it's a little suspicious. That's why I wanted to ask you. Now, the courts have actually already ruled that public photography in itself is not deemed suspicious activity for either detainment nor arrest. Okay. So until I figure it out, what and you say is the law? California Penal Code 148.G, you may want to look that one up as well. Absolutely. And Penal Code 52.1, the Civil Rights Act. So if you do plan on violating my rights, be very careful. You can actually lose a qualified immunity and be held accountable if you should happen to impede in this. I am completely aware of that. Can I get your name and badge, please? Callahan 63. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being professional. Perfect. So, but you, do you understand why I'm talking to you? Nope. All right, we got vehicle 59 here. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Name and badge, please. It's on my uniform, buddy. Name and, is that what we tell a judge? Come on now. We don't tell judges our names and badge number. Really? So you're, you're going to go against your uh, policy 1046.2.1 subsection A <laughs> and identify in a courtesy manner? So here's the way it works. Your policy. off case law on me earlier, but we I'm not making this up. Your policy states you have to identify in a courtesy manner, either via an incident card, a business card, verbally, or write it down. So. Once again, I'm going to give you the chance to redeem yourself. Name and badge. I'm identified right now in my uniform. Name and badge, please. All right. Can we help you with that? Name and badge. Can we help you with Name that? and badge. He's just focused in on your badge number, so he's already been able to read it. Okay. I can't see it with the glare in this little camera. just focused in on it. I want you to do it. You can come come stand it. behind me and see what I... Here, come stand behind me. I can see what you're looking at through your glasses. They're mirrored. Yeah, I can't see that far and zoom in with I the glare. See your mirror to glasses so, and I can see what you're looking okay, at. Okay guys, we got vehicle number 59. He's refusing to identify. So you're breaking your policy. So I'm gonna give you one last chance. Are you willing to identify and go by your own policy? It's not my policy, it's your policy. 1046.2.1, subsection A. Look it up. I'm identified right now, dude. So. You're not identified. You're wearing, I mean, I can get a badge off eBay. Come on now. Not this one. Well, I'm sure I could. Believe me, everything's possible for the price. So this gentleman right here was being very courteous. He's willing to do, he's honoring his oath. How come you're not willing to? Can we help you with anything? How come you're not? Yeah, you just asked me that and I asked you a question. You're refusing to answer. This, this is going exactly. How's it going, brother? Any crimes or anything? No, no ah, crime. Take off then. How you doing? I'm doing good. Question you? for you. This gentleman's very courteous. I want to compliment him. Very cool. uh, professional. This gentleman right here, however, is breaking your policy 1046.2.1 subsection A. I just wanted his name and badge. Are you going to ask? Can you have him give it to me right now, please? Um, no. Um, no. Um, no. Um, no. Um, no. So you're going to refuse to identify breaking your own policy? Yep. Wow, unreal, guys. You saw it first. Have a good day. Day, you're breaking your policy and you shouldn't be a sergeant. Okay. Well, right. Those stripes need to get taken off you of what, you. I tell you what, in about eight and a half months. I hope so. Have a good day. All right, so we got the sergeant with his vehicle, 0S, 03S guys. He's refusing to teach his uh, officers the proper procedures. Have a good day. What a tyrant. Get back to work, public servant. Take care. Unreal. All right, so we got the Modesto police. They're just watching me right over here, guys. One of the officers, at least he was willing to honor his oath and identify. However, the other tyrant 
I don't want to say other, but the tyrant, the second officer that came out, and the sergeant. Super unprofessional. This is him right here. Let's see what we got. Okay, there's license plate. Sarge, can I get your name and badge? Yeah. Or do you have a business card? I'm just curious. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm just working on a story. Okay. I'm just wondering, why do you think it's okay for your officers not to identify to the public that we pay, pay their salary? Well, I didn't want him to talk to you, so I told him to leave. But before he was here, before you were here, yeah. you know, it is your policy. I mean, do you guys not, is your policy just kind of up in the air, or do you guys not follow it, or...? There's a business card, buddy. All right, I appreciate it. All right, take care. Thank you for not honoring your oath and keeping your uh, officers in check. Unreal, guys. All right, let's get a few more shots of some personnel coming in and out and then call it a day. Oh, there he is again. The tyrant that refuses to identify. Made your whole department look bad, brother. It's ridiculous. These are the kind of officers we don't need on the street, guys. Unreal. That's the kind of tyrant that will violate your rights without even thinking about it. If his sergeant never came, who knows what would have happened. Take care. What kind of video? Sorry, what was that? What are you videoing? I'm videoing you. Okay. Do you think that you should go down there so I can leave? No, I'll step back, give you uh, double the six feet minimum. Okay. I think that's fair. No worry, I have no ill will here. I'm just working on the story. Okay. All right, have a good night. All right, guys, thanks for checking out my latest audit over here in Modesto, California. Let me know your thoughts, guys, pass or fail. They didn't force me to identify, didn't tell me I have to leave. However, they were very unprofessional, at least a couple of them were, by not identifying, breaking their own policy. Make sure to pound that like button Make sure to follow or subscribe. Show your support, guys, by sharing this video. And feel free to give them a call and let them know how you feel. It's our voices that make a difference, guys. And remember, no bootlicking. We'll see you next time.